Legend tells of a barbarian so brave and cunning that not even the strongest of foes would even dare to challenge him. Though he was once looked down upon by those he trained alongside, today those same fighters tremble in fear from just hearing his name. Arm Huntington. Though his name is Barbarous, in the legends he is known as Bob Huntington. Hey guys, what's up? It's me. Barb Huddington. I've been experimenting with a lot of different Barb Hut decks recently, but this one seems pretty good. Now, I was using this what? Ah, shit. Um, hold on. Oh. oh. Okay. Yeah, so I was using this website to help me build my deck. The defense is maxed out because, as Arnold Schwarzenegger once said, The best defense is defense. Okay, yeah. Let's show them what we're made of. Wait, I'm not using, I'm using a different deck. Oh. I feel as if for the longest time, all of the most uncultured people that play this game have slept on Monk. I cast kill yourself. Everybody knows every time you make a good play in this game, you got to emote to establish dominance. This dude has no father figure, so he's just playing the overpowered card. We're just going to ram in the other lane to put some pressure, but eh, cannon's going to stop that. He's going to go for a firecracker to stop my firecracker. You know what time it is. Bring in the men. Bold of you to assume I was actually attacking you with the first wave of men. Okay, second wave's coming in. Let's get to work. See, this is exactly why we have the curse and rage. Let's just get rid of that. Not what I was aiming for, but hold, hold, wait, wait. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, the true magic of Barb Hut, we've already won the game because this guy has more than likely just quit out of the app. Is there an emote in this game that translates to good game, well played friend, I hope you have a good day? Uh, oh, this one. After being exiled from the Red Kingdom, Barbarus took to the mountains to continue his training in peace. Though he was removed from the kingdom due to his unconventional training and battle methods, Barbarus refused to yield to his oppressors. Though he started his journey alone, over the following years of training by himself in the mountains, he crossed paths with fellow barbarians who had also been banished due to their lack Lack of talent in the arena. Barbarus took it upon himself to train up his fellow barbarians in hopes of once again returning to the Red Kingdom. After discussing ideas with his men, they came to the conclusion that it would be within their best interest to work out a deal with the goblins living not far from the mountainside. Just from watching, you might be inclined to believe that my deck would struggle against cards like P.E.K.K.A. or Mega Knight. I don't blame you though, because clearly you aren't as talented and gifted at this game as I am. Because this guy's really good at the game and he let me just melt his P.E.K.K.A., uh, I'm just going to slap down a bar putt and then I'll give him a little bit of encouragement. I love when they play swarm cards. I learned this trick whilst I was studying amongst the goblins. Mmm, yummy chip damage. You're probably wondering, how do you actually deal with a P.E.K.K.A. when you're playing this deck? Well, let me show you. Step one, place the firecracker. Step two, we make a tactical oopsie daisy and we let the bandit kill our firecracker. Have no fear, the guards are here. Ah, oh, crap, all the guards are dead. Hmm. What do we do here? Oh no, split push? Bring out the hut, baby. Yeah, fuck them up, men. Bring in the curse, do some extra damage. Yeah, you cannot, yeah. Ah. Uh, that feels good. Play your P.E.K.K.A. I got an Amazon Prime delivery coming right for your tower. This guy is not going down without a fight. All right, so here's the rule of thumb. This guy's going to P.E.K.K.A. in the back. I'm going to Monk. You know what? Fuck it. But always, always, always Barb Hut in the opposite lane. The key to success against a deck like this is just keep putting pressure in the other lane. That way, he has nothing to actually support his P.E.K.K.A. Unless it's a battering ram, but he has no supporting spells. So we're just going to put down a guards, a curse, and a rage. And wow. Call me a janitor because you just got mopped the fuck up. Gotta keep the firecracker alive. He's gonna waste a poison on the other side. Now he has to address the left side. Double firecracker. Oh my God. It connects onto the tower. The bandit goes down. He puts the ghost out of pure panic. Oh my God. The firecracker gets another shot off. I don't want this guy to feel comfortable pushing either side. So I'm just gonna keep putting things down randomly. We're putting the dragon on the right and we're going bar put on the left. 
Which side am I gonna push? This guy has no idea. Surprise, it's the right side. This guy brings out the P.E.K.K.A. already, so I, I know this guy's gonna wanna just counter push on the right side. We're gonna bring out the Firecracker early. He's gonna poison, that's fine. Bring out the Monk, bring out the Guards, and we have just enough Elixir in our cycle to get another Barb Hut down. This guy has no choice but to keep addressing the Barbs that keep flowing in on the left side, but with a Goblin Curse and a Rage, all of his defenses over there are going to struggle. I put down a Firecracker here just to be annoying as shit. We're gonna put the Monk just to try and protect it, but a ghost is going to take him out. Either way, he just dropped the poison, so he has no elixir. We're just going to throw down another battering ram. Put down another curse, put down another rage, and this game might as well just be over already. Oh my god, dude. Oh, oh wait, shit, I'm still recording. The journey to the Goblin City took quite a toll on Barbarus and his men, but that did not sway their determination. After a long journey, they finally made it to the gates of the Goblin City. Unsure if this was a trick or an attack from the rival kingdoms, the goblins were wary of Barbarus and his men, but after listening to his pleas, they agreed to allow him to see their queen. All right, guys, let's play a game. Who's going to lose their tower first and how fast is it going to happen? Ah, a log bait player. Okay, so now that I know that this guy has no friends, I have the strategic advantage. I go for a cheeky firecracker, but he just goes for a fire spirit. Firecracker misses, you know, kind of unfortunate, right? But all log bait players are the same. So I'm just going to put a battle ram in the back while this guy's just going to go for a princess at the bridge. An Inferno dragon is going to kill the princess and this guy's going to try and place a swarm card out of panic. I guess I really am literate because you just got read like a fucking book. If you guessed 48 seconds to win the game, well, congratulations, you won absolutely nothing. Even my opponent is in so much disbelief at how talented and good I am at this game. All right, watch this read. He puts a princess down to kill the barbs that are coming to the tower, right? He thinks like, oh, my princess is just going to walk up and it's just going to farm this barb hut. We put a monk down last second. Princess locks onto the monk. We cross the bridge. We're gonna go for an ability, protect my barbs. Looks like the princess is fucking dead. Best part about barb hut, if it breaks without taking damage, it spawns two barbs. My push is dead, but now I have a battering ram with a little bit of support. All he can do is put down the inferno tower, but my guards are gonna come in and do some work. A princess is not gonna save you, bro. Okay, maybe it will. It doesn't really matter though, because this guy still sucks. We put an Inferno Dragon down at the bridge. This guy's gonna try and farm it for free, but I'm putting down the Monk to pull all of the attention. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thanks for the goblins, bro. I appreciate it. All right, so clearly the fake barrel's going on the right side because he has a knight there. We drop the rage to get rid of that and the guards can take care of the Evo Knight. Just gotta let this guy know that I feel really bad about what I've done to him just before I pull out my patented offensive barb hut strategy. Well, the game's over, so I might as well like look for an emo. Oh, this guy. <laughs> the Goblin Queen, amused by Barbarus's hatred of the Red King, proposed a deal to Barbarus and his men in exchange for allowing Barbarus and his men to practice with the Goblin armies in their arenas. Barbarus would be tasked with returning the Red King's crown to the Goblin Queen. Thus, the training commenced. So I had this game uh, when I wasn't recording, so you know I had to go back and check the replay. Here is the situation. As you should already be able to tell from this position, I am clearly going to win this game. That's because I've already taught you that all logbait players are the same. This guy thinks his princess is going to hit my barbarian hut. I put down the monk. He panics and puts down his inferno tower. I go for the monk ability to keep him alive for just like a few extra seconds. It lets my barbs get even closer to the inferno tower. I go for a ram in the back to push with my two bars but he goes for the Evo Goblin Barrels. I split a Goblin Gang in the middle because I know I can take some of the damage and I go for a Miner to support my push. A good Arrows will take out all of the squishy troops, but my Barbs aren't able to connect onto the tower. I want to keep the pressure up, so I actually match his Princess with my Firecracker. I take both of those down and I go for another push. All Logbait player know how to do is put Princess at bridge and throw Goblin Barrel at very predictable times. 
Boing. I have the momentum, so I'm going to go in with a battering ram and an Evo firecracker. And guys, wouldn't you believe it that once I put uh, evolved firecracker in this deck, I started winning more? That's crazy. I'd like to imagine that when I play this deck and I beat somebody, I make their day just a little bit worse. For many months, Barbarus and his men trained alongside the goblins, learning trick after trick and developing unheard of strategies to use in battle. With the training wrapping up and Barbarus and his men preparing for their departure, the goblins had one last surprise for Barbarus. A gift? No, rather a weapon that will allow for utter domination in the arena. The goblins, having already mastered the art of the goblin hut, gifted Barbarus with his very own hut to use in battle. The goblins, celebrating the success of Barbarus and his men, chanted his new name. Bar Bloodington! Bar Bloodington! Bar Bloodington! Nerf Miner! Another day, another swarm card spammer, another victim. Now, call me crazy, but I think some people are definitely thrown off by someone actually playing Barb Hut. All you gotta really do is just wear down their defenses, right? You just throw a Barb Hut in the opposite lane, they panic, and then you finish them with a 1-2 battering ram arrows. I mean, for real, this deck is kind of good at punishing people that just want to use like low elixir swarm cards to uh, counter my little pushes. The key to success, though, is that sometimes you just have to cut your losses, like me not panicking about those wall breakers since they were going to connect anyways. It is also equally as important to make sure you're just kind of spreading out what you're using because let me tell you it is quite enjoyable watching people struggle because they don't know what the fuck to do however what my opponents are never aware of is that i in fact feed off of their fear and the more scared they are the stronger i become mr president a second battering ram has hit the tower but the time of celebration would not last as the journey to return to the red kingdom was now underway as they made their way through the woods and marched to the red kingdom the spirits of bob huddington and his men rode hard as they arrived at the gates of the Red Kingdom, the gods seemed incredibly confused and annoyed as to why these exiled barbarians have returned. Bob Huttington and his men were immediately detained and brought to the prison keep for questioning. Guys, hold on. This is not a good time for me. Just give me a sec. Papa's got to lock in. I can't let that mortar lock onto my tower. I just got to keep putting stuff in front of it. Miner, please just throw away your life so I don't die. Uh, I think we're fucked. Wow, outskilled yet again. Upon interrogating Bob Huttington, the kingdom's gods became aware of his challenge against the king and laughed in his face. However, not all hope was lost as the Red King himself came down into the keep to speak with Bob Huttington. Bob Huttington would be allowed to challenge the arena. The Red King was extremely overconfident <laughs> and agreed to hand over his crown if Bob Bob Huttington and his men proved their might. Once the sun rises, the battle begins. You probably know that going up against Royal Recruits and Flying Machine is going to be a pain in the ass. Oh, and Skeleton Dragons. The one thing that I do know is that you can't be scared of a Royal Recruits deck, because if you give them too much respect, then you're just going to let them set up for a push that you cannot stop. We need to deploy more big, hot men to the front lines. Okay, that was fucking rude. I'm sure everybody watching can relate to me when I say that it is a pain in the ass to get to overtime just to realize that my opponent was dropped on his head. Thankfully, like all of this guy's support cards uh, shoot projectiles, so the monk ability is going to come in clutch, but it's also going to buy us precious seconds. This guy's going to try and get his flying machine set up. I'm going to snipe it with a muskie, but I'm preemptively putting the ice golem. Oh, oh, your Tesla is useless. Get far. Uh, ice golem, ice golem, my beloved. Under different circumstances, I'd be able to handle the evolved Mega Knight, but this is going to prove a little troublesome for me. If I get the bar put down, then he's forced to have to lightning it or leave it be. He goes for the lightning, so I know that he is broke. I'm going to send in the battering ram, and like I said earlier, I just have to accept the fact that that Mega Knight is going to do a lot of damage to my tower, but I really really need it because oh my god look at him go fear me i cast kill yourselves we don't got time for this go 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 get in there go soldier ah! 